food is fuel. All right, now, what we eat does matter a lot. I'm a fitness trainer, fitness expert. It's not a matter of me figuring out exactly what I want to eat when it comes to that point because my big factor on this is that when we're making, when I'm making these Quaker oats, the good thing about these is that you can control the sugar. What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to switch things up a little bit and discuss nutrition. Um, if you don't know, my name is Jalil Nelson. I'm a fitness trainer, fitness expert. Um, I graduated with my exercise science degree, so I have a little bit of background when it comes to um, just health and your overall wellness. But today I really just wanted to talk about what my day to day looks like. Um, nutrition wise. I know nutrition is a big thing for a lot of people. You know, we have the perfect workout regime. Um, we have the perfect structure when it comes to, you know, we're getting our doctor appointments. We're doing a lot of things, but when it comes to nutrition, that's what we're struggling with the most. So today I just want to sit down and really talk with you all about how I was able to really transform my mind and body through, you know, my nutrition and what that really looks like for me. So to start off, I have a lot of items here. Um, so these products and um, fruits and everything that I have here is things that I really eat uh, day to day um, between you know breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, I'm really big on getting at least three meals a day, no matter if you're trying to uh, lose body fat or you're trying to um, build muscle. You know, getting your meals is actually key because food is fuel. All right, now what we eat does matter a lot. Um, so you need to be making sure you're putting the right stuff in your body, but don't avoid food. So food is actually your friend. You just need to um, learn how to use it, you know, the correct ways. So what a typical day looks like for me. So as a fitness trainer, um, I'm also a stretch practitioner now and I'm a content creator. So my, my days are pretty busy, right? So finding times to eat these things and really, you know, I have time to um, decide what I'm eating, um, decide what I'm going to eat. You know, it could be a hassle, but... Uh, these are the things and this is exactly what it looks like day to day. So let's jump into it. So first, um, I start my day off. I like to wake up around anywhere from 3 to 3.30 a.m. Um, all the time. You know, I don't always, you know, make that time because I will snooze my alarm a little bit. So I say at the latest around 4 a.m. because I have to get up and go train at 5 a.m. Um, what I do in the morning, I always start off with some oatmeal. All right. So this right here is the quicker oats. Um, I'm a big believer in you need breakfast, all right? You need to start your day off with something. Now, I know some people like to fast. I know some people, you know, their stomachs, you know, can't take a lot of food in the morning. Um, if that's the case, I encourage you to build that up, all right? Try eating something small. It could be like yogurt. It could be a granola bar, but you need to fill your body in the morning, all right? Stop skipping breakfast. All right, so what I do to start off my morning, I always make some oatmeal. Um, I don't make a lot, I just make a little bit just to make sure my body's running off of something. And then I'll either have um, yogurt, as you can see, well, if you can see right here is Greek, or I'll probably add a banana to it. All right, so once again, this is just to make sure I'm feeling my body to start my day off the way I want to, um, just so I have energy when I'm training my clients and afterwards when I'm doing my workouts, you know, I need that energy. So this is good for that. Um, so, you know, after, you know, I train my clients um, and do my workout, I like to come back home and then that's when I have, you know, another meal. Um, I don't have it here, but what I normally have for my meals, uh, it consists of a lot of vegetables and uh, protein, all right? So lean protein that I like eating is chicken, um, turkey, and I also like to incorporate beans in there. Um, I think this is very good because it helps me stay lean, all right? So it's not a matter of me figuring out exactly what I want to eat when it comes to that point because I've gotten into a rhythm in terms of like I know what I want, so I kind of make it or I kind of get it every single day, but in different ways. So like, let's suppose I like eating, you know, grilled chicken. Um, one day I have barbecue grilled chicken. Next day I'll have grilled chicken with honey barbecue. So I'll mix up the flavors and that way I don't get tired of the same meals. I just mix up the sauces. Now, not everybody could do that. Not everybody could do that. I understand that. But um, learning those two to three meals that you really, you know, that you really like consuming, um, that are healthy will really help you uh, stay consistent because nobody, you know, if you don't like eating something, the chances of you continue to eat it on a day in and day out basis is slim to none. All right, let's just be realistic. Nobody wants to sit there and just eat, you know, vegetables all day. I get it. I understand. But you do have to find out um, what meals and stuff work for you and just replicate it and make it different ways. And that's how you're ultimately going to be successful when it comes to eating the right foods, dieting, and just make sure you're properly nourishing your body. All right. So with that being said, I also have a couple other things here. Um, let me just take you all through the list of what I have here. 
I have almonds, all right? So I get these for Wegmans. Um, the reason why I'm big on almonds is because almonds are one of the things that they keep me filled, but also give me um, the nourishment I need, all right? So almonds are a great snack to me, so I'll probably eat it um, in between training sessions or workouts, you know, if I'm feeling hungry. Um, the thing about these two is that, so personally me, I could eat almonds probably, it used to be every day, but now I only eat them about twice or three times a week just because I did honestly get tired of them, which is why I started getting other snacks. But almonds have always been um, my go-to, all right? So these are actually the first snacks that I really started consistently using like day in and day out in between my meals or uh, when I had breaks. Next here are eggs, all right? So I know a lot of you all probably eat eggs. I specifically, I go for the, just the egg whites. Um, I do the egg whites because I try to avoid that high cholesterol, which is found in the egg yolk. Um, now, I may eat you know, the egg yolk and everything like that, but I try to really stay with the egg whites because I try to go straight for the source, which is uh, the protein. So once again, I'll eat these in the morning, or um, you know, if I'm feeling good, I'll eat it after my workout. So it'll be a little before noon all right, that I consume these. Um, the portion that I have is I normally had to take about uh, three eggs, um, and then I'll either make them scrambled or in the omelet or water. All right, so those are the different ways that I really incorporate these eggs. Uh, next here we have bananas. Uh, this is really like, I use it as pre-workout. So before all my workouts, um, if I'm not eating anything, if I don't have enough time to make oatmeal, if I'm waking up late and I snooze that alarm and I end up waking up later than needed, then uh, that's when I just take a banana to go. But in the mornings, I normally always, you know, choose to eat a banana or even for lunch. And this is actually, you know, it helps avoid cramps and everything like that, especially as you continue to um, work out and everything for your body. All right, and then these two right here, I have watermelon and I have pineapple. So these are just more fruits that I um, contain in my diet. Um, once again, these are things that I really like to eat, you know, in between my meals or even when I get my breaks or downtimes. Um, these fruits right here, watermelon and pineapples, I actually they're, I say they're the top five. My go-to is mangoes. Right now, I actually don't have any more mangoes left, but mangoes are my favorite fruit. So I like to incorporate mangoes in um, with these. Um, I won't eat them all at the same time. I'll probably switch them out day in, day out, uh, just so I don't get tired of eating the same you know, thing over and over again. Next here, um, I know we talked about it briefly, but I have um, my Greek yogurt, and then this is, this right here isn't Greek yogurt. This is more light and fit. So I've actually just, um, got these. I haven't, well, I've tried these before, but I haven't really had these in my diet. You know, I just wanted to switch it up because I did get tired of eating the same yogurt. So we're going to try this one for this week. But um, typically for my Greek yogurt, this is kind of like a pre-workout again too. I like to, you know, eat it in the morning. It could be a light snack for me or I eat it in between meals. Um, once again, as you can see, this is, a lot of this stuff is really just a high protein diet. Um, so this is making sure I get my protein grams a day uh, that I'm looking to get. Um, the good thing about protein, it makes you feel, um, it helps with muscle growth, all the things I'm looking for in order to stay toned and shredded. This right here, I have RX bars. All right, so the thing about RX bars, I first found out about this from my cousin actually. Um, I forgot where we were, we were somewhere, and he asked me if I ever tried these. Uh, normally when it comes to granola bars and just bars in general, I know a lot about it, but I've never, you know, um, seen an RX bar. And you know how it is, so once you first hear about it, then you go to the store and you keep seeing it. So that's how, exactly how it was. And then when looking at the ingredients, the thing about these RX bars, the things that it has, and it has egg whites, almonds, cashews, and dates. And it was interesting to me because I'm like, how do you contain egg whites in a bar, let alone three egg whites, right? So, um, you know, I did the next thing. I ended up purchasing one. It was pretty good. I liked the taste of it. And then I started reading the nutrition facts. And it's very high in protein, as you can see. Um, it has three egg whites in it, so that's protein itself. And then it also has almonds, which are keeping you filled. So everything that I have here, they're pretty much contained in this bar as well. So this is one of my other go-to snacks that I keep with me. Um, if I'm going on a, a long trip, long car ride, or I know I'm going to have a busy day, I'll probably take like two of these two or three of these with me and it just really once again it helps me um, stay full and have you know the right you know things in my body I also do want to let you all know that the more you have a high protein diet and you keep you know great snacks with you the more you have the less urge of snacking on things that you shouldn't be having um, I'm a big believer that if you know you shouldn't be eating it don't purchase it 
That simple. Because what happens is we're a, more, a lot of us are emotional eaters. So what, what that means is um, when we get home, when we're when we're craving, you know, that milkshake, when we're craving that honey butter, when we're just hungry, we're gonna grab the first thing that we're thinking of. All right. So if I'm finishing, you know, my workout or something, and I'm like, wow, you know, it's been a while since I had a honey bun. If it's a little in the house, you know, the chances of me taking that increases. But if it's not in the house and we have to go to the store to get it, it's just more stuff that we have to do in order to obtain it, which means that we're less likely to do it, right? So that's why I'm a big believer in just really um, be conscious of what you're purchasing from the store. Um, when you go to the store, you should never go to the store. I tell people on an empty stomach. All right, you wanna make sure that you have at least um, eaten, you know, a couple hours before or you're filled, all right? Because we're gonna make, you know, emotional decisions. You're gonna look at stuff and then you're gonna start trying to purchase it because you're not really thinking logically or what's best for your body. You're just thinking based upon, you know, what you want in your mind, all right? So that's my challenge for you all, um, you know, coming up for these upcoming weeks and even, you know, try to stay consistent with that as long as possible. Um, again, this is not an overnight process. This is something that, you know, it's gonna take a lot of trial and error. Um, I tell people all the time, I'll be lying to you if I said what everything that I eat that works for me will work exactly for you. That's not always the case. And just because, you know, my body type may be different, all right, than your body type. But what I will say is if you have that goal to, you know, uh, stay shredded, if you have the goal to um, reduce body fat, what you want is a high protein diet, all right? You want a high protein diet, that's gonna be key. And the way you get your high protein diet is by eating at least three meals a day, and you can snack on things that are filled with protein, just as the yoga that I showed you, just as the bar I showed you, and you can also incorporate some um, almonds in there as well, all right? Um, once again, these are the, these are things that you have to have, but these are some things that you that I recommend that you um, incorporate in your diet. Well, if you can find alternatives with similar nutrition facts, then go for it. All right, but these are the ones that I found the most beneficial for me personally because I like the taste. I can stay consistent with it, and um, it's been helping me when it, you know I'm in the gym and um, just throughout the day having energy and everything of that sort. All right, cool. So. Um, another thing I also did want to mention is, so when it comes to um, oatmeal, Hill, one of the uh, questions that I always get is, you know, is it better to, you know, boil oatmeal or use the packets? Well, my big opinion on this one, it's not really an opinion, but my big factor on this is that when we're making, when I'm making these Quaker oats, the good thing about these is that you can control the sugar, all right? So none of this is beneficial if you're adding things to it that you really don't need to add, all right? So it's beneficial, but you're just making, you're not messing up the benefit for it, but there's some things that you need to be mindful of what you're adding to it. So like if I make an oatmeal, all right, be mindful of the sugar you're adding to it. Um, oatmeal is oatmeal at the end of the day, so you will get the nutrition benefit, but if you're drowning it with sugar, then you're also getting, you know, a lot of um, sugar too, which isn't good, um, which could raise, you know, your blood sugar and everything like that, which you gotta be careful of. So, um, I'm saying all that, this, all that to say that if you're getting uh, this oatmeal, it's more preferred than getting the packets because you can actually control the sugar intake, unlike when the packer has a set sugar intake, which is very high actually. Also, uh, keeping in mind, a lot of snacks also do already come with a lot of sugar, so throughout the day, you just wanna just be mindful of your sugar intake, and the way you could do that is by, um, you know, getting oatmeal like this where you can control it and also drinking a lot of water, all right? So, water is ultimately key. Um, I tell people all the time, you should be drinking at least four bottles a day, all right? So challenge yourself to just, you know, intake more water. Um, you're gonna realize that water is actually a big benefit to um, achieving any goal you want. You know, it's a benefit to achieving your uh, fat loss goals, it's a um, benefit to achieving your weight gain, muscle mass goals. Water is something that you really wanna make sure that um, you're incorporating a lot in your diet. Uh, me personally, I have to do a better job drinking water just because, um, you know, I drink my, I'll say two, three bottles, but I need to up that by a lot because that's really not enough. Um, but what helps me do, you know, get my water is actually watermelon because watermelon contains a lot of water in it. So, um, yeah, but I still do need to up my intake. Other than that, um, I want you all to let me know in the comments, you know, what do you struggle the most with when it comes to diet? Like, is there more um, knowing exactly what to eat? Is there more knowing um, of how to obtain it, like where to get it from? Or is it really just that discipline? Um, because I feel like all of us, if, you know, if we could help each other out in some way in terms of like doing um, or learning different uh, tips or tricks or hacks that um, allow us to have the best diet, then 
um, it'll be a lot more easier to stay consistent with um, your overall health and eating. And you'll become to realize um, how much better it is staying on track and staying consistent. So um, I challenge you all to really just uh, reach out and comment below and let me know. And I can make more uh, future videos like this just to really give you all tips and, you know, um, hacks in terms of how I'm able to find that sustainable diet for me so that you could do the same. Um, take care and I'll see you on the next video.